Good morning. Uh, my name is Jim Janowski, commander of Everett Schultz American Legion Post 697. Besides me, Commander Charles B. Reichert of Kenneth E. Bradley Post 7760, Veterans of Foreign War. On this Memorial Day, let us not forget the greatest generation. They came of age during the Great Depression and the Second World War and went on to build a modern America. Men and women whose everyday lives of duty and honor, achievement and courage gave us the world we have today. Nearly 60 years ago, 16 million soldiers served in World War II. Between 1941 and 1945, 400,000 soldiers died. 671,000 were wounded. Today, World War II vets are dying at a rate of 1,000 per day. There are only 3.5 million still alive. On Saturday, the 29th of May, 2004, a long-awaited World War II memorial was dedicated in the nation's capital. These young men and women who fought evil and won made the ultimate sacrifice and service to their country. Will be remembered on Memorial Day services throughout the region. Remember, all gave some, but some gave all. Once again, our nation has assembled to honor its courage dead. A thousand battles of land, sea, and air echoed this glory of valiant deeds. Under the quiet sod or beneath the murmuring waves, their bodies sleep in peace. But in the destinies of veterans, their souls go marching on. Because of them, our lives are free. Because of them, our nation lives. At this time, the commander of the VFW. Also, I say, and let's not forget those who are missing in action, being held as prisoners of war, and those who are in harm's way as we are speaking right now. God bless America. At this time, I'd like to introduce the president of Women's Auxiliary, Sandy Gengoff. Before I, I do my little spiel here, I want to introduce our poppy queen this year, Lily McFarland. She's been out there for uh, the Good Neighbor Day Parade and out with her grandma over here, Carol McFarland, distributing poppies. Thanks for serving as our, as our queen this year, Lily. The last few years, you've heard me talk about the bright red poppy we, the American Legion, and the VFW distribute during the month of May. This year, I not only want to thank all of you who have shown your generosity in the past, I want to thank all the veterans, World War I and II, Korea, Vietnam, Grenada, Lebanon, Panama, Persian Gulf, and now Iraq, for the great sacrifice you made to keep this country free as well as help other depressed and suffering peoples from other countries. I salute all of you. A job well done. Now I want to read you a poem by a Canadian officer, Colonel John McRae, who was killed during the First World War as he immortalized the poppy in his famous poem, In Flanders Field. In Flanders Fields, the poppies blow between the crosses row on row that mark our place. And in the sky, the lark, still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amidst the guns below, we are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders Field. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders Field. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. At this time, I'd like to introduce Bert Gangoff, past commander of Post 697 and a past 8th District commander. God's morning to you all. First thing I'd like you to do this morning is please hold hands with your neighbors. Everyone, this is a day that we honor our, our family members who have given a supreme sacrifice for us. 
Now, please, I want you to close your eyes and picture in your mind the soldier at Valley Forge as he holds his musket in his bloody hands. He stands barefoot in the snow, starved from lack of food, wounded from months of battle and emotionally scarred from the eternity away from his family, surrounded by nothing but death and carnage of war. He stands tough with fire in his eyes and victory on his breath. He looks at us now in anger and disgust and tells us this. I gave you a birthright of freedom born in the Constitution. And now your children are graduate too illiterate to read it. I fought in the snow barefoot to give you the freedom to vote and you stay at home because it rains. I left my family destitute to give you the freedom of speech and you remain silent on critical issues because it might be bad for business. I orphaned my children to give you a government to serve you and it has stolen democracy from the people. It is the soldier, not the reporter, who gives you the freedom of the press. It's the soldier, not the poet, who gives you the freedom of speech. It's the soldier, not the campus organizer, who allows you to demonstrate. It's the soldier who salutes our flag, serves our flag, whose coffin is draped with the flag that allows the protester to burn the flag. Thank you, Bert. At this time, the raising an American flag will be conducted by Ray Sanders, an American Legion, and Phil Duran, and a VFW. on cover. Please join us in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, we'll do the opening prayer. The chaplain, Art Kane, an American Legion, and Bud Heinz at the VFW. Almighty God, Father of all mankind, and judge over nations, we pray thee to bless this memorial service and to look down with favor and understanding upon the hearts of those who are gathered here to pay tribute to those who have made the supreme sacrifice and for the benefit of all free men everywhere. The lives of those who paid the supreme sacrifice are glorious before us. Their deeds constitute a daily inspiration for those like ourselves who remain in their home communities. In God we trust and may the faith of our fathers guide, protect, and sustain our people. Amen.
this time, I'd like to uh, introduce the mayor of Lansing, Dan Pregarski. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us on this Memorial Day. I'd like to take a moment and introduce the other village officials that are here in attendance today. Behind me is Trustee Don Chacatano, Trustee Mark Foster, Trustee Tony De Laurentiis, Trustee Jack Hookstra, Village Clerk Jean Isha, and Trustee Patty Item. Memorial Day is the holiday we honor and remember those members of the United States Armed Forces who gave their lives defending our country. It is a solemn day, a reminder to all of us that the daily tasks and events that we take for granted are in fact a representation of what we've chosen to do with the freedom earned for us in part by the American soldiers who died while fighting for our country. This year, as was the case last year, and at any time our armed forces are in active duty, Memorial Day takes on a different level of reflection. Because it's not merely a day to remember those who gave their lives in past conflicts that have taken on a historical perspective. Instead, it is a vivid reminder of those American soldiers who have given their lives in recent weeks and months as our nation's military continues paving the road to a democratic government in Iraq. In case anyone had forgotten, we've been reminded in the past year and a half that the road to freedom is not an easy one. The war in Iraq has taken a physical toll on the U.S. soldiers called on to serve there. We have heard of the hundreds of soldiers who have given their lives for our cause in this war. We're reminded that no matter our decided advantage in soldiers, training, weaponry, or strategy, war takes lives. It does so without warning and despite the best laid plans and executed strategies. For these soldiers and their families, our hearts go out. We cannot bring back a parent, a sibling, a child, or a spouse. We cannot ease the pain of a loved one who is left without a family member. We're only left to imagine how their lives will be different. Unfortunately, they not only have to imagine it, but they have to live it. What we can do, however, is remember and pay tribute. We can show the family soldiers who died while serving this country that the people their loved one died fighting for appreciate their sacrifice. We can remind them that Memorial Day is not meant to be the official kickoff of warmer weather or backyard picnics, but instead it's our way of expressing heartfelt gratitude for the freedoms bestowed on us every day. So to those soldiers who pay the supreme sacrifice today, we say thank you and God bless you. Without you, America wouldn't be called the land of the free or the home of the brave. Thank you. At this time, uh, God Bless America will be performed by Moon Memorial Junior High under the direction of David Alley. <laughs>
At this time, we're placing the wreaths, Art Kane and American Legion, and Bud Heinz at the VFW. At this time, we'll do the roll call, the Civil War, Spanish-American War, World War I, World War II, Korean War, Vietnam War, Grenada, Lebanon, Panama, Desert Storm, Desert Shield, Persian Gulf, and Freedom Iraq. Color Guard, will you honor our comrades? At this, at this time, we'll do taps performed by Tommy Tripp of Memorial Junior High. At this time, we have everybody on cover for the closing prayer performed by Art Kane. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we ask thy blessing may be stowed upon our friends and loved ones. We thank thee for this opportunity to share with them the special occasion to honor our veterans on this Memorial Day. Let us always honor the memory of those brave soldiers who gave the supreme sacrifice so those of us may experience freedom in a country that is free. Heavenly Father, keep our families in your kind care. Bless them and comfort them in that time of sorrow. Let us be reminded of liberty, life, justice, freedom, and democracy that we may be ever grateful to you for those comrades who gave so much for their country. We ask thy blessing upon this service, and as we depart, grant unto us thy continued fellowship that makes abiding peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mayor Dan Progarski, the village trustees. Thank you all for coming out and honoring our deceased veterans this morning. Thank you, Memorial Junior High Band, Band Director David Alley, Lansing Ceremony Honor Guard, Lansing Post 697 Color Guard, the Lansing Fire Department, and Jim McLaughlin, a member of Post, 60, Post 697 American Legion. We dedicated a statue at the airport yesterday. Thank you for coming out today. <laughs>